Hey guys, my name's Chris, and this is Financial Fitness. And I wanted to give you an update on the gym rat. And for those of you that don't know what the gym rat is, it's kind of the end all be all of squat racks. It's really, it's mobile. It's a mobile workout station that's not bungee cords and chinchy stuff. You know, it's like, you know, gold and silver's generational wealth. Well, the gym rat is generational health. <laughs> It's everything you need for bone density, muscle mass, and tendon strength. And I've had this thing in my head for a long time. I said, man, I'm gonna build one one day. And a friend of mine has a machine shop. I was working a lot and I told him what I wanted and he built me this first prototype. And I liked it so much, I really made a bunch of improvements on it. And uh, I changed the bars and I made put some dip bars on it and put the best pull-up bar. None of that's on this one. They're all, all of them are at the paint getting powder coated right now. But I want to tell you what happened for those of you, you guys that have bought one or are in the process of buying one because that's a, it is the hardest thing on earth to get something from here to the market. Uh, building it wasn't that hard. That was the fun part. Trying to build it where it wasn't really expensive was probably the hardest thing. So we got that problem solved. The next thing was finding somebody to powder coat it and all that. Well, we gotta go back to getting it built. So we got them built, or I got them built. They built a jig, you know, I had to pay for the, all the jigs to be built. And somehow or another, every time they built one, it was, it was towing the top of the squat rack in and these legs were coming in about an inch. And you really couldn't see it but I could see it and it wasn't perfect. And uh, I just, I really wanted it square. I wanted it right. So I had to go pick them up from the powder coating place. Half of them had been painted. Cut them all apart, make all the adjustments <laughs> and rebuild them. And now they're back at the powder coating place. Now the next hurdle is shipping. I know it's gonna be expensive. I don't care, they're $29.50 free shipping. They're made in America. The profit margins aren't very big, but if I can get people working out on a piece of US made equipment that employed US workers, it's so hard to do that. This, this shirt I'm wearing is made in China. It's just ridiculous. I look in my closet and it's just everything is not made here. And I wanna start, I wanna do my best to start really pushing American made stuff because I want to start buying American made when I can. It's almost impossible to find things made in America. And my first thought after the, the CCP virus uh, was to get a squat rack off Amazon, you know, 250, 500 bucks. Well, they didn't have anything I wanted. It was all chinchy Chinese garbage. And, and that's why I started building a squat rack. I built me one, my dad saw it, he wanted one, my sister saw it, she wanted one, my brother-in-law, her and my brother-in-law got one and then uh, his brother saw the transformation in him, so he bought one. And the last I heard, his parents were wanting one. I mean, this thing is really going good as far as being a good product and selling good because I really hadn't pushed it that much. But just know there has been some holdups, and I'm telling you, the people that have already told me they wanted one, they still want one. They are willing to wait, and I, that means so much to me. I really appreciate you waiting because it is... <laughs> it's nothing has been easy, but that's okay. Nothing is. Nothing worth having is easy. And that's just, that's just part of it. Nothing's free. There's no free lunch. You know, all those things. Nothing worth having is easy. And I'm going to get it to you as soon as I get them back from the paint place. I'm going to put them on a pallet myself. I'm going to put one, I'm going to put them together first, make sure they're right. Then I'm going to put them on a pallet and then I'm going to ship them to you. So thanks guys for waiting around. This is just a little update on the gym rat. Thanks for watching, like, and subscribe. This is Chris and I will see you tomorrow.